And now the night everyone in the football world has been longing for. Millions will be watching around the world. It is, of course, the biggest final in club football, the UEFA Champions League final. Welcome to the commentary box. Derek Ray here, joined by Stuart Robson. It's Paris Saint-Germain taking on Chelsea. Well, Derek, we've got some of the world's top players out there tonight, so this has to be a great game, doesn't it? I just hope we see both sides play to their full potential. I can't wait for this. PSG team looks like this. Gianluigi Donnarumma begins in goal. Sergio Ramos plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. Lionel Messi starts with Neymar out wide. And handed the task of playing up front today is Kylian Mbappe. Here's the lineup for Chelsea. Thiago Silva plays with Antonio Rudiger in central defence. N'Goro Conte starts alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield and handed the task of playing up front today, Romelu Lukaku. Champions League final we're about to find out which team is the best in Europe tremendously strong in the tackle Mount so now a corner taken short and a good looking ball that's very effective good high pressing he takes aim and blocked for now well you get the feelings well a badly timed run just a fraction offside Lukaku Lukaku Pulisic I just couldn't keep the ball Taking it forward now Lukaku Oh and couldn't convert Neymar so a throw in here
And he was in the right place to intercept. Attacking possibilities for PSG. The timing was perfect. It had to be. The high press was on, and that's a fantastic tackle. Very much run of the mill as saves go. Chilwell. On the ball, Rudiger. Jorginho. Lukaku. This might be ideal for the counter. Jorginho. Now Conte. Determined block. Mbappe. Neymar. And Neymar! Pulisic. Here's Chilwell. Jorginho. Chilwell. And back with Jorginho. Conte. Every pass hitting its target. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Playing it short. Lukaku in position. Opportunity maybe. And he succeeds in scraping it off the line. Lukaku. And a goal for Chelsea. They've hit the front in the Champions League final. When you see this again, the defending just isn't good enough. The clearance doesn't get enough height on it, doesn't get enough distance on it, and suddenly the ball's being played back into their danger area, and they don't reorganise themselves, and that's why the ball's in the back of their net. Well, PSG get the ball moving again. How will they respond? Sliding in, winning the ball, and once more, they've kept it. A chance maybe from the wide position. Happy to take on the shot. And a fine stop. Well, approaching the half-time whistle and PSG narrowly behind. Stuart, your assessment to this point? Well, it's been a fairly even first half so far, but they haven't shown enough creativity, particularly in midfield, where there's been too many negative passes. If they can get the ball into the front areas that little bit quicker, I think they'll get back into this. N'Golo Conte being pressed and pressed high. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. And it's a goal for Paris Saint-Germain to square this game. Well, as you can see, he's given far too much space, but he still had some work to do, and I think that's a very tidy finish. It was never in doubt. be able to trouble them here well nothing comes of it it looked promising and in with a real chance firing it towards goal and searching for his second but the keeper equal to the task well he's looking really lively isn't he every time he gets the ball he looks a threat And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. That's very effective. Good high pressing. Good pressure. Can they make something of this? Mbappe! And a strong glove on the ball from the keeper. 
A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. And they're underway now in into the second half then in this battle for Champions League glory. PSG doing well to regain control of the ball. Untidy in possession. Opportunity it is. The net is staring him in the face. Well, a badly timed run, just a fraction offside. Pulisic good tackle Mbappe Verratti now Neymar now what can Paris Saint-Germain do from this position and let's give credit to the defending rather than a free kick it's advantage Chelsea the ball back with PSG now. Being pressed hard. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Well, so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. And Chelsea get the decision from the referee. Playing with purpose and control. But nothing comes of it. A move of promise on the flank. Neymar! Opportunity missed. Well, they pressed Aspini Quetta high. Great pressure to win the ball back. But a bit disappointingly, running out of space. It will be a goal kick. Wijnaldum over the byline hence a goal kick well they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game Being pressed and pressed high. Won it back. Might be a chance here. And just offside, but by a whisker, my goodness. And Paris Saint-Germain with the ball again. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. Verratti! And a touch of finesse. Majestic piece of goalkeeping. Well, he loves the big moments, doesn't he? And he's proved it again there. Great goalkeeping. He's failed to hold it, Neymar. That's very effective. Good high pressing. Messi.
Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Well, he's lost it. Oh, and couldn't convert. Aspini Quetta under the course. And a good take under duress there. Well, time is running out to get this winner. But these PSG fans certainly believe it's coming. Just listen to that noise. Progressive football from Paris Saint-Germain. They know a goal at this late stage might be decisive. And the decision is one of offside here. Substitution time it is. And very deftly cut out. And he might be through here. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Cut out superbly by Kovacic. Over the touchline for a throw-in. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. Messi. Here's Marquinhos. Neymar. PSG on the attack as the minutes tick away. What can they do in the closing phase? Aimed towards Mbappe. A very effective clearance. That is that after 90 minutes. They are level and extra time is coming up. Understandable that fatigue might set in. A strength-sapping night for all concerned as the first period of extra time begins. Jorginho Wijnaldum. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Messi. Mbappe! In it goes! But it will not stand. Offside, Stuart. Well, it looked close, didn't it? He certainly thought so. He's making that clear to the linesman now. That's very effective. Good high pressing. Can they forge ahead? No problems grabbing hold of that one. So a throw in here. Aspili Quetta. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw in. Chelsea couldn't maintain possession. Kai Havertz. PSG doing well to win it back. Spot on with that tackle. Over the touchline for a throw in. Good pressure. Can they make something of this? 
chance to put them in front. Well, hit with power and almost the right precision. Being pressed hard. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. And the first period of extra time comes to an end. Still level here. And so the drama continues here. We're into the second period of extra time. Havertz. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Ball's gone. And a goal at this stage might well turn out to be decisive. And they've only gone and made it count. A goal for PSG nearing the end of the Champions League final. Well, as you can see, it was a fairly simple finish in the end, but you still have to be in the right place, keep your composure and finish it off, and that's exactly what he did. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. And let's give credit to the defending. And he might be through here. Oh, a save of the highest order. Well, he got his angles absolutely right. What a good save that is. Can he finish? No way through. It's one corner after another. He cuts it back. Whatever way you look at that, it's been squandered. We've had the official word, there will be a minimum of two added minutes. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. It is a decent looking attack here. Full time, Parisian pride shines through. PSG have cleared the final hurdle in the Champions League. Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives. And they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them.
Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners, Paris Saint-Germain. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. What would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it with your own supporters? Well, these fans have certainly played their part, haven't they? They'll savour these moments. They've travelled far and wide to follow their team. They're loving every minute of this, and why not? They deserve it. A performance of fire as well as ice. They held their nerve when that was necessary. And these celebrations will run long into the night. Well, these are the moments they have to make the most of. It doesn't happen very often, does it? These will be photos to cherish for years to come. Brilliant stuff. And you are looking at the best club side in Europe. And he succeeds in scraping it off the line. Lukaku. And a goal for Chelsea. They've hit the front in the Champions League final. Being pressed and pressed high. Having won the ball back, they might be able to prove it. Firing it towards goal. And searching for his second, but the keeper equal to the task. Well, he's looking really lively, isn't he? Every... Messi... But it will not stand offside, Stuart. And a goal at this stage might well turn out to be decisive. And they've only gone and made it count. A goal for PSG nearing the end of the Champions League final. And let's give credit to the defending. save of the highest order. Well, he got his angles absolutely right. What a good save that is.